Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about data Lee set. When you want a object or the variable available throughout your site Lee file, you use data Lee set to set this variable, right? To understand how the data Lee set work, let's consider a scenario, okay? I have a author bean and I have a sling model. So this author bean or the bean class or poju class have a few properties, first name, last name, author, and one list, it is returning, okay? So I'm, I'm setting the values of this bean and then I am returning through a method called uh, get author info to Cycli. And I want to print these values, right? First name, last name, and the further values. So when I want to print this value, first name, so what happened, it will get the object of sling model. You are aware of it, how it works, right? And the, it will call that method get author bean and get the object of this author bean and print this first name. That's perfect. Okay. Then again, when I print, when it print the last name, again, it will go to that sling model and call that method and get the object and then print it. The same way it will print for further two more values. Okay. Now you see here to print this value, it is making a four calls to the same method and getting the same object every time. Right. Ideally, when you have an object, you can keep that object within the Cytely file and use that object. Right. So for that purpose, we use data silly set. Let's see the another scenario when I will be using data silly set. Okay. So for that, the, uh, what I'll do, I'll use data silly set and I declare an identifier or a variable which hold the object of this author bean. Okay. Using this line. Okay. This one. So this whole object means this, this object will be stored in this author variable or the identifier. Okay. So what happened when I print the first name first it will go to that sling model call that method and get this object and store in author variable or the identifier what I showed you okay when I want to print this author name first name I'll use this the where object or the variable set using the data silly set right and I'll use the same uh, object to print the further value so what happened now this object author contains the object of this bean right because bean information is not changing so every time to print these values uh, this this variable will be used okay to print this value to print these further values right so now i made only single call to this method but in previous you know scenario i was making four calls so i i removed at least 75 percent of method call as in this example and again for the memory as well right so this is the way you can optimize your code using data silly set when you want to hold a object when you, you you know you have some object and you want to hold that object for further processing in your sightly file so now let's see let me show you the example of the first scenario okay then we'll see the uh, uh, the demo of the second scenario let me show you the first okay and i'll show you the calls exactly in log file how it is happening okay okay so this is my bean class which i already explained you it means bean or pojo this has first name last name and this is my sling model implementation class so i uh, in this method i'm just adding creating an object of this bean class and setting those values like first name last name author name and this list okay and this is the interface for this uh, sling model you are aware how it work right and inside Lee, i'm printing these values right i'm getting the sling model object from that sling model object i'm getting the author bean and then i'm printing it okay so let me save it let me deploy okay it's done and let's refresh it now Okay, so when you sprint hit, but the uh, you know point you need to understand here is how to see the calls. Okay, so how I verify like how many calls are there for the sling model? Let's add a logger in this file. Don't worry about what is logger. We will have a deep or detailed uh, tutorial for loggers. Okay, so I added a logger. Whenever this method is being called, it will print a method calling get author info in log files. 
printed. So I have a log file for my project and all the logging methods are printed there. Okay, so let me deploy this code again. This core code. Okay, build is done. Now let's open that file. This is file. Okay, so let me clear this. Let me remove this. Let me remove all the previous loggers. Okay. So now if I refresh it, just, just reload this page. Right. So there should be a for statement. There should be this, this, this statement should be printed four times this is statement because there is a four call of those this method okay let's open it okay there's other things are also printed but if you see there are four times this is printed only four times four times these are the other logs okay let me remove this one more time so that you can understand this okay and just refresh reload this page again and open this logger so you see the there are four times method is being called Okay, but let's update this code using data silly set. So I have updated, I have removed the previous code and I have updated this. So I'm calling this what I explain you, right? I'm get calling this object. I'm getting this object inside this author variable. And then now I'm using this author variable. Okay, so let's save it and let's deploy this to AM front end there will be no change because I'm printing the same value is the only difference you will see in the log file okay so let me refresh this okay page is refreshed and let me okay okay so if you see there is only single times the method is uh, in a call let me remove it so that you can understand and let's reload it one more time See, the only once the method is called. So this is the right way of, you know, setting or using an object when you need a object many times in your op Cytly file or you need that object till, you know, in whole file of your Cytly, right? So I hope you understand. This is very important and this kind of stuff is being asked in your interview questions, right? So just understand, understand the concept, how it works. Okay, if you have any question, please do comment. Thank you very much.